felt so important to me to, to write about my mother. I, I had thought of her for so long as a weak person. I loved her very much, but writing this book made me understand how heroic she was for so many reasons. Uh, part of it was her struggle to try to rescue her family from Hitler's clutches in the 1930s as he was moving further and further east and her family was in Latvia in Eastern Europe. I realized that she was very heroic as an unmarried woman who dared to have a child in 1940. I realized that she was heroic because she kept going uh, when she could easily have broken down because everything happened at once. She lost her family, she was pregnant with me, the man that she had been involved with didn't marry her. And it, it just felt so important to me to, to, first of all, try to figure out who this woman was that I loved so much, but also to try to understand her as I couldn't as a child. And, and it was a wonderful thing to realize, as I say in the book, that I owe her awe. She, she truly was heroic, not in a major way, but it was the small heroisms of everyday life that was so moving for me to find out. The project began as, uh, I thought, just my recollections of my mother, and it became deeper and deeper, uh, and I, I, of course, was very interested in the 1930s as an era, what went on in Europe at that time. I actually went to Eastern Europe, to my mother's shtetl where uh, I was able to find the transcripts of eyewitness accounts of the destruction of the Jewish population there. Those accounts uh, were taken in 1945 by the Soviets. There had been 2,000 Jews living in that little shtetl and all but six of them were killed. So it, it became for me a major research project, although I thought initially that it would be uh, an internal discovery of who my mother was and what that meant to me. I, uh, the only family member that I have that was still alive, I didn't know about until I started my research. I discovered that I have a half-sister. I had seen the man who was my father only twice, and it was my half-sister my newly found half-sister who uh, could tell me everything that I needed and wanted to know about the man who was my father. This had, had been a huge process of research. I had for years tried everything. I finally found the ship's manifest. I discovered that he came to America in the early 1920s from Poland. I uh, found out his sister's name and I was able to find his sister's uh, uh, marriage license. And from that, I found out that um, there was a child born, my cousin, presumably, and my cousin put me in touch with my half-sister. It was really thrilling. I met him in New York and um, over dinner, uh, talking about the man who was my father, his uncle. He said, you know, you have a half-sister. And he told me how to contact her. 